Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Okay, so I'm going to do a ring pour on this canvas and in my split cup I've just got black and white. It's a 20 by 20 inch canvas and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a ring pour and then I'm going to stretch out that design and then what I want to do is I want to layer some contrasting colours on top and swipe through just to kind of see what effect that I can get. I'm almost going for kind of an autumnal look. So I'm going to use red, orange, yellow, copper and gold. So once I've layered the colours on top of the ring pour, I'm going to swipe across and then stretch out the design. I'm really excited to see how it's going to turn out and I hope you enjoy watching along with me. I'm just stretching out the design. So the ring pour itself, I, I love that kind of classic look of just the black and the white. And I want to cover a lot of the base. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer the other colours on top in two areas on that canvas and then obviously I'm going to stretch it out and some of that colour and some of the black and white will go over the sides. I'm not necessarily going to be too fussy with how I put the colours on top of the ring pour because obviously it's going to become very distorted and, and it's going to be very abstract but the whole idea is when I swipe and I'll be swiping with titanium white mixed with Australian Floetron, obviously to create that cell and lacing effect. And I think what I'm aiming for is a real good balance of black and white versus colour. And I'd really like to look at the composition and the definition of those lines. I'm really hoping that I can maintain those lines. I think having those lines that are just black and white in contrast with the swipe colours of cells are going to make this piece a really interesting piece. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to swipe across those colours, pressing lightly on top of those colours and all the way across the canvas. I'm very mindful that I'm also swiping across the rings as well and I'm hoping that's going to create a really good pattern. As you can see, the Australian flow trial has done its magic and you can see the cells that are formed with a combination of those colours. I'm just going to layer the colours again, this side, and swipe across and that's kind of helping me gain my balance concept. I'd really love some black and white to be within the middle of the piece and then some colours on two of the edges. That's my aim anyway, so I hope I'll be able to achieve that. So as you can see, as I'm layering those colours, there's quite a lot of paint that's gathering within that kind of middle section. So I need to be really mindful when I'm stretching out this piece, I must have quite a lot of the, the, the paint puddled in that area. So when I stretch it out, I want to try and ensure that I have a consistent layer on top, because I think I've said in previous videos, if I can manage to get a consistent layer on top, that will really help with the drying process. So I swipe right across the piece, covering those colours, and also going within the lines of the ring pour. I'm just going to clean my palette knife, and then I start tilting. And this is where I understand where the, the weight of the paint is. And I have a look and I think about what side I'd like to stretch off first. So you can see that I'm tilting it back and forth. That's basically to maintain those lines as I tilt. I wanted to make sure that I keep a lot of that lineage and that curvage of the black and white colour. I will basically tilt this design until I'm really happy with it. So what I mean by that is I want to maintain the, the black and white lines from the ring pour really in the centre of the piece and then I'd like to ensure I maintain the colour on the outer edges. So I will step back and look at the piece as I go and I will tilt it slowly, there's no rush to, to complete this. I want to make sure that I get that balance right between those colours.
Okay guys, so wet version look i'll take you in a bit closer so you can see some of that detail but i'm really happy with how i managed to keep the color on the edges and maintain that black and white in the middle section and i'm also so so happy that i've managed to keep a lot of those lines i love this section just here you can see a lot of that detail within the lines and then you go to the really hot vibrant section of the cells you know that that red look at that red across those cells i love that so i'm really happy with the balance and i'm really happy with this color palette i'd love to know what you think and if you attempt it yourself then tag me in your post i'd love to see the results that you create and here's dried version look i'm really really happy with how it dried I think this is probably one of my, my favourite ones that I've done this year actually. I really love that colour palette. So yeah, I might try and work with this again. And doing that ring pour first and then the swipe on top, I've really enjoyed doing that technique. So I'll be doing some more of those too. I'll leave you now with a few pictures after this video of some of that detail so you can get to have a look at that detail up close. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great week ahead, take care of yourselves and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!